Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so today we're back with this Pentar Whisperful Pump and my boy Robert. What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? All right, so we're going to be changing out the seal. We removed the seal plate in the last video and the impeller. All right, and now we're going to be changing it. So if you have a Pentar Whisper Flow that looks like this, you need a PS1000. All right, so you can purchase that from us at WetheadPumpRepair.com. Okay, just or you can, if you're not sure, you can give us a call uh, or visit the website, PS1000. So you take the seal out of the box. Okay, first part of your seal goes into the impeller here. So what I like to do is put a little bit of silicone on here just to, you know, keep things, you know, sticking around. So I just apply a little bit of silicone on the back, just like this, tiny dab here, and a tiny dab there, just two little tiny dabs. And I just take my finger and roll it around here just a little bit, okay? Work that silicone around the back of the seal. See that, bro? All right, and I just work my finger around just a little bit. You don't want to put a little bit on there, not too much, I mean. So once you do that, you want to be careful not to touch the face of the seal. And take your finger and line it up with a little hole there. All right, look at the camera. There you go. All right, so there you go. I was falling asleep over here. You look over here too. All right, so here you go. So you put your finger in there, line it up like that. Okay. And once you have it like that, you want to get yourself like a clean rag or something because you don't want to touch that face. Okay. So you want to just take a clean rag and push that seal right in there, just like this. Okay. And as you take your clean rag, you see how they're doing that. Just push that seal right in there, all right? And that is one part of your seal, okay? See that? It's in there, so that's your first part of your seal. Now this next part, you probably know because we showed you how we knocked it out in the other video. Is here's the base of it. We showed them how to knock it out. So when you get your new part, now you can do this two ways. You can use yourself, like if you have a large socket, like an automobile socket, you can put a socket over this. Some guys just like to put it in there, like this, and then they like to take a, uh, the flat head and just tap it here, tap it here and work your way around and tap it in. Um, I like to use a seal installation tool. It looks like this. Um, so I basically just spin my seal in here a little bit like that. Okay, and then what I do is just put it in there. I work my seal installation tool right off of the uh, seal. Just like this. Okay, my seal's installed. So, uh, if you don't feel like you're doing this stuff and you're like watching right now and you're like, wow, that's a lot of work, right? Send it in to us. We have a mail-in pool pump repair service. Um, it's $149 to refill these pumps. But the thing is, it includes shipping back to your house. But the best part is you don't have to pay us up front. So, if you're worried, like, if you can't tell you, like, maybe Joseph and Robert can't fix this pump because it's really old. Well, the good news is you just mail it to us. You take your pump. You put it in a box, right? You ship it to us. Uh, you, you know, at 65 Sanford Street. You can see the address on the bottom of the website also. You can give us a call as well. And we'll fix your pump for you. And after it's fixed, we'll send you a bill uh, via PayPal, Google Checkout, whatever you want. Carrier Pigeon, right? Might be a little far, though, so it might take a couple days. But then, you know what I mean? We'll rebuild your pump for you, man. And if you can't do yourself, or if you need the parts, we'll sell you parts. Okay, so that's how you install the seal. There's one part there, and there's the other part, the impeller. So we have these two parts ready to go now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to keep on working, and we're going to get this motor apart now, and we're going to change the bearings. All right, man, so we'll see you in the next video uh, when we start to take this motor apart and change the bearings. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo. Thanks for watching. All the parts in this video are available at wetheadpumprepair.com or give us a call anytime or use the contact forums and also visit the forums. Take it easy. Peace.